Let's go on to song Martin by Car Seat Headrest. Um, so before I heard this song, I, I had I had I had heard a Car Seat Headrest. Uh-huh. I kind of seen their um, the cover of their album Twin Fantasy. It's got like a dog or a couple of dogs or like weird stick men dogs sort of on yeah. the cover, or yeah, or something like that. And it's I remember seeing that and. When um, the year that came out, I was I was listening to loads of music because I was like compiling a sort of best of the like my favorite albums of the year list to, to put on the website, and I'd been trawling through some of the like, like top twenty lists of other websites and stuff to find some some music, and and Car Seat Headrests Twin Fantasy was one that, that kept coming up time and time again. The sort of more indie oriented websites, at least, and. I think I think at the time I kind of skimmed through it, which right. isn't really, it's you know it's a shit way to listen to albums. It doesn't really give you an idea of what they're all about, really. But no. I sort of skimmed through it and sort of thought this isn't really for me. Um, and I was like, I'll just go and I'll just listen to some other stuff that kind of grabs me a bit more immediately. So after after sort of you giving me this song, I I, I, I was approaching it. With trepidation because I was expecting not not to like it, and um, on first listen, I quite like the sort of chirpy opening acoustic guitar and there's like that drum machine beat. Um, but as soon as the vocals came in, I was just like, "Nope!" <laughs> and it's just like it was like that kind of Bombay Bicycle Club effect all over again. Yeah, but, possibly. But I stuck with it. And um, I kind of enjoyed it a bit more as it went on. And then there's there's this moment where you just get this uh, soaring, joyful, harmonising chorus, or, or what I thought was a chorus that comes in. And, and when that hit, I was like, well, actually, this this is pretty good. I actually quite like it. Yeah. And um, But then I sort of listened to the rest of the song, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting for that, that chorus to return. And it never does, and that just kind of pissed me off because it was like this is such a good part of the song, a huge sort of chorus style moment, and they just throw it away. And um, on on repeat listens, I kind of, and now that I know that part is coming, I'm I'm happier to listen to the first section, and the the vocals don't quite annoy me quite as much. And I'm like, because I know this moment I really like is coming up. And then once that's gone, I'm a bit like, oh, well, it's it's not coming back again. And there, it, I don't know, it's just a little bit disappointing from that that point on. I'm not, I mean, there's decent parts of the song, um, but it just, I don't know, it just seems a bit boring and samey. There's a long instrumental part. There's some trumpets and things that come in to like yeah, mix things yeah. up a little, but it just, it didn't really do all that much for me. Um, and uh, and then I thought, well, maybe I'll watch the video, and um, the video like adds some context to the song. But the video is just some guy dressed up in like high vis and a mask doing the dishes. Oh <laughs> so right. I, haven't, I haven't watched the video, man. I haven't even seen a thumbnail of the video. Yeah, it's just a guy wearing. He's got like a almost like a gas mask on, and then he's wearing a high vis, and then he puts on his like marigold. With gloves and he's doing like some dishes and then the, it's a lyric video so the lyrics are like he's got like these glasses on and the lyrics kind of scroll across his glasses right okay so that's quite interesting but I don't know it, 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 it's it feels like a sort of um, lockdown DIY video um, right okay but it's not very good <laughs> like, but so overall I, I don't hate the song I think it's okay yeah, I think that's probably a six out of ten, which is kind yeah. of just like it's okay. Like fans of this kind of thing, will, will like it. admittedly, when I when I when I first gave you this song to review, I, I think I said um, our mutual mate McInnes had recommended me, uh, recommended them to me, and I I didn't really I didn't really like them, 
Um, I just kind of happened across this song. Um, I think probably through Spotify. It was probably like one of the kind of latest releases recommended for you. And I have to admit, um, I there is something quite there is something that I do quite enjoy about the vocalist um, or the vocals, the vocal delivery. Um, I actually initially thought it was maybe the Strokes' new single because it kind of reminded me a wee bit of kind of Julian Casablancas. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. Um, but he also reminded me of Adam Green. Are you aware of Adam Green? Have you heard of him? You've heard, have you heard of the Mouldy Peaches? Yes. Yes. The, the, so the like the Juno, are, uh, Juno yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like, I think most of the Juno soundtracks provided by the Mouldy Peaches, um, I don't think, well, I don't know. I don't know if they recorded any new material for Juno or if it's just like they had songs out already and, you know, the creators decided to use them. I'm not 100% sure. Um but I think it was it was maybe the kind of lo-fi elements of the song that kind of made me like made me make the, that connection. Um, and I see what you mean about the chorus. Um, the chorus is fantastic, and I think because you've got that kind of loud, quite loud dynamic going on, where you've got this almost um, there's this kind of wee interlude that comes in round about the kind of one minute mark. It sounds as if it's like a snippet from a demo. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, you just hear this kind of acoustic guitar, kind of a few bars of someone strumming an acoustic guitar, coupled with these kind of really fragile locals of who I assume is the lead vocalist, a guy called Will Toledo singing kind of oohs and ahs, something like that. And then it catapults into that chorus that you were kind of talking about. And I think you maybe get it once again in the song. I don't think it, I don't really no. do. I, I think, don't know. I, I, I'm sure I was listening to it again yesterday when I was taking my notes, and I'm I'm sure I was like I heard that bit, and I was like, oh, that is that the chorus? Because if that's a chorus, it's that's really cool. And then I listened to the rest of the song, and I was like, oh. So I went back and listened to it. I'm pretty sure it only happens once, and that was why I was like, that's what disappointed me about it. It's like it's such a good moment, and it's like if that happens even once more. Once more in the song, I think it, it would make it more of an interesting listen for me. Um, I've, I've got a feeling you maybe hear it twice, but I'll agree that the, the song does kind of trail off towards the end. Um, it kind of seems to lack direction a wee bit just kind of towards the end. Um, as you said, you know, there's. did you mention there being kind of like, I think there's kind of like saxophone kind of thrown in somewhere towards yeah, the end like, um, some sort of kind of horn instrument anyway yeah. um, and a wee bit of kind of digitalised vocals but it, it does kind of trail off I I did like this song um, that's why I, I kind of recommended it to you um, I gave it a rating of I give it a rating of 8 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah uh, I, I did really enjoy it um, They've released their new album, um, so that this song features on their new album, uh, which is called "Making a Door Less Open." That was released on the first of May, um, and it's the band's twelfth studio album to date. So maybe their albums are a bit hit or miss. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, the single Martin had like a companion song, or what was? I suppose it was a previous single, and you listen to that. Sorry? Can't cool me down. Yeah, and I didn't like that at all. Like, <laughs> that like that's that that's on the that's on the newest albums. Yeah, both songs featured on the newest album. So I wonder I wonder if that album would be a bit like hit or miss, like I found kind of Bombay Bicycle Club to be. Um, yeah. For for me at least, um maybe for different reasons, I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. We. Um, I don't know if it's worth covering. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we could have a we could have a look at it and see what we we both think. Anyway. So. Anyway. It's, um, Martin by Carsey Headrest. Graham yes. quite likes it, and I think it's all shit. right. <laughs> I don't think it's shit. I just I. I mean, all, you think it's all right. 
I think it's all right, yeah. That's, um, that's as far that's as... That's fair to see.